hey everyone it's kabir here so in this session we are going to understand about json what is in json so what i thought like to understand react js in very depth way or if you want to understand react js in very proper way you have to have very good knowledge on json format or object concept so i thought let's make a video on this json so in this session we are going to see what is a json json is a data format to exchange the data from one application to the another application json is just a data format in which we are going to send some data from your client to a server or you can say from one application to the another application simple way now json stands for javascript object notation why it stands for javascript object notation because the json format is very similar to your javascript object format there is a slight difference that slight slight difference we will be knowing in further sessions so as of now just remember it is very similar to your javascript object that's why it is called as javascript object notation now we understood that okay json is a data format to exchange the data from one application to another application or from one or if i want to send any data from client to the server i am using the json so what are the benefits of the json the first benefit of the json is json is very easy to read and write as a developer if you see a json object you can easily understand what this information meant to so it is very easy to reading you can easily write it the first thing second thing it is very easy for applications to parse and to generate the data that's the second benefit we have and the most important benefit of json is it's a language independent what do you mean by language independent any language or any technology can understand the json format that's why you can send a data from one application which is built in one technology to the another application which is built in some different technology for example i have an application which is written in the java i have one or one more application which is written in written in the javascript now i want to exchange the data from java to javascript or i want to send the data from javascript to java so using the json format i can change using the json format i can send the data from one application to the another application that's the best benefit that we have with the json format now let us see how to define a json object for that let us practically i'm going to show how how can we define the json object so let us think we want to represent an employee employee details so how can you define var emp equals to curly braces open curly braces close this is how we declare an object here emp represent the name of that object like i want to represent the data of a employee so i am giving the object name as emp var indicates the data type we the data that we have in this object okay any of the data will be the object format now whatever data i want to represent that should be represented within this curly braces and whatever we are going to represent within the curly braces that are called properties now let us see how to declare some data of a employee so where emp the name equals to open the curly braces now i want to declare the data like what parameters we can take of employee let us consider id id of an employee okay id should be id it's like a key so any property that you want to define in json it should be in the format of key and value so here i want to represent employee id so for that purpose i required one key so i took id as a key now i value represent the actual data of that employee now i am considering 101 as a id of that employee this is called the property property is defined in the format of key value where your key is should be unique within that object 
and key is used as a medium to access the object access the actual data whereas your value is going to represent the actual data so this is the one property now how can i differentiate one property to the from another property using the comma then now let us uh, declare the name of that employee for that i required one key so i am taking name okay now how can i differentiate a key and a value using colon notation now the name of the person let's take a kabir then right now i want to take one more property as a location so how can i take i, I require a key to represent that location so i am taking loc as a key then now i want to represent actual data so he is from the mumbai just consider so how can we differentiate a key and a value using the colon so take a colon it's like mumbai and close your curly braces now this is what we represent actual json object or a javascript object see what or uh, one difference i can say about json and javascript object is in json object key must be string it's a mandatory rule that key must be string whereas in javascript it's not compulsory that key should be string it can be any type of data okay yeah? data type i mean to say so this is one thing you have to represent so let us summarize what we have understood in this session right what is what is json json is a data format which is used to exchange the data from client to server and data json is very easy to understand and it's very easy for application to pass and the generate that's the two things you have to understand and why it is called javascript object notation because its syntax is very similar to your javascript one how can we define any json var person curly braces open and curly braces close then now i have gave a example of that employee but here i took the example of a person a person has his name value is like kabir okay one more property key as a location and value is a pune and one more like phone key as a phone and the value is something so it represent the information of a person and what i told whatever present in this curly braces are called properties how can you differentiate one property to the another property using comma notation and how can you represent a property within key value pair and how can you differentiate key and value using the colon so this is the concept of json this is a theory part in next session we will be seeing the practical we will be seeing some crud operate operations on this particular json so thank you for this